Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure industry. I'm Barb Mitchell, and I'm joined by John Shingler, who's the EVP of Operations for T5 Data Centers. John, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And so we, here we are. It's day one of DCD London. I know you've been in town for a little while now, but first day at the show. Yep. Has, I, I spent uh, the last week in France and then Dublin oh. and now got here last night. Oh, that sounds horrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice. Yeah, that's, um, so you're nicely acclimatized to yes. the time zone and everything. And uh, so what are you most looking forward to for the show this week? I'm looking forward to hearing people speak and just meeting friends. Um, the industry is small. You see a lot of your friends when you come places and sometimes this is the only time you get to catch up with them. Yeah, that's so true. That's very true. And so now I understand it's it's um, you are T5 celebrating the second year in, in Europe. I think you 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 launched the business over here two years ago. Tell us a little bit about that. Correct. Two years ago, we came over with a customer to run our operations. Uh, T5's divide up into three distinct lines, our development, which I think most people know us as building our data centers and our construction team and our operations team. And uh, we came over here and launched operations two years ago in Denmark. Uh, we've since expanded over um, into the Netherlands and are looking to continue that growth of our operations team over the next year and two. So, yeah, tell me more about that. So you, you had an opportunity to come here and now you like it, you're staying as a, as a business, you've decided there's more opportunity here. So what, what does the future hold? I, I think in the next year, in 2025, you will see us continue to expand into Germany. Um, we are looking for other opportunities in the countries we're already in. If we can grow in Amsterdam, if we can grow in different places in Denmark, uh, then our goal is to get over um, to England at some point. Amazing. And and while all that's happening, you're busy on the home front, right? Talk about, uh, tell us a little bit about the growth happening back in the United States. Correct. Uh, you might have seen in the last probably three months, we've announced two different um, developments we're undertaking. We have our development in Chicago, outside of Chicago. And then we have just announced about two weeks ago, the development south of Atlanta. So both of those are large scale campuses, uh, greater than 300 megawatt campuses that we are starting to build. And, and I know one of the things that's important to you and your team is, is just f sort of f helping to steward in the new generation of folks that are going to help to support all the growth and demand and innovation that our industry is has in store. Uh, do you have advice? What, what's your advice for that future generation? I'd say w two pieces of advice is be flexible. Um, when I first came into the industry, the phrase everyone said, oh, it's going to slow down soon. And after a decade, I have not seen it slow down. It's <laughs> always changing. And then the other part is to go with that is learn as much as you can. Um, the industry changes a lot just in the last decade plus. So the more you learn, the more flexible you can become, the better prepared you are to continue to grow in this industry. Amazing. And so for any of those folks interested in getting into the industry, I know that they could probably reach out. There's always opportunities for people to chat uh, uh, to, to folks at T5, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I fed you, I'm, fed you that. I'm the person who, if anyone ever wants to come out and see me, stop me, talk, um, probably my downfall is I will just talk yeah. for long periods of time. Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then for other opportunities, if people are, are interested in talking to you uh, or anyone on your team about what's happening in Europe or North America, what's the best way for them to connect with your team? Uh, the best way is to reach out onto our website and then they can connect through HR or at any event you see us at, just stop us and talk to us. Um, everyone at T5 is really friendly um, from the top down. So you can stop any of us and just have a conversation. Amazing. And so what's in store for you for the rest of the show? Um, I'm going to walk around the floor shortly. And there, there's a couple different uh, 
lectures I want to sit through. Yeah, we're, I mean, it's just getting started, yeah. right? So it's almost too soon to almost too soon to ask. But there's two full days uh, of great content ahead, and and so I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. And thank you so much for your time. It's right. a pleasure pleasure chatting with you. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, and thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.